What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another album review video. It's your boy, Jay Bird, aka Mr. Cool Guy. With today's video, I'm reviewing Masterpiece, fourth album that came out when it was the year 1995, and this album is called 99 Ways to Die. This is Masterpiece album when he was living in the Bay Area and the dude got like a lot of gangster rap, West Coast hip hop, and this is when he launched his No Limit Records label and he was on a Priority Records and this album got like 13 tracks. Guest pieces from C Murder, King George Silk, Simply Drake. Big Ed and among more and we're gonna get into like all 13 tracks on this dope classic album by Masterpiece starting with track 1 intro slash 7 reasons 17 reasons here we go y'all enjoy the show Not too bad of a joint right there. I really feel the uh, spoken words in the intro. 
being sample over the class about Earth, Wind, and Fire, and, and the second part of the uh, joint, it was dope. Mass P did spit some dopeness with that uh, track, and I really feel all that gangster rap and hood flow with how track one sounds, and I really like that I got to check this album out when it was 2012, and that is a dope track on that on this album by Master P and y'all can tell me that we got the track one intro 17 reasons that one of the dopest intro slash songs to begin the record with let me know your thoughts well I'm not gonna play track two track two is more of a skit but we're gonna skip to track three dead presidents here we go y'all Like Master P, Lil Roy, and Big Mac Eyes red and dank to the head 
Open his chest with the full 
seen him before he got killed and that is a very touchy song he also dedicated memories of the original version of this track to Easy e and y'all can tell me like what y'all like about that song and the comments below is a very touchy song y'all feel that story that master people spinning in this song because the beat is dope and i really feel them rhymes and y'all can let me know like what do y'all like about track six in the comments below all right, moving on. Track seven, player with game, featuring simply Drake, King George, and Silk. Here we go, y'all. Very peaceful. 
car my brother used to bump that that shit all the time though and it's still known to be one of the dopest songs that my brother liked and that I got into and that song got like a lot of west coast hip hop G funk and gangster rap and y'all can tell me like what do y'all like about track seven play with games that one of the dopest songs that he did with all the guest appearances including his brother Silk let me know your thoughts well, I'm not going to play track 8. Track 8 is more like a skit. It's called Commercial 2, but we're going to skit to track 9, the main title of the album, 99 Ways to Die. Here we go, y'all. Thank you. 
Now the main title of the album, 99 Ways to Die, that song is dope and I really like that he did a uh, song for the main title of the album, 99 Ways to Die, do got a lot of gangster rap, west coast hip hop and G funk and Master P did went hard with that song and it got like a lot of hood flow, gangster vibe, game related in the song and you know, about living in the life of living in the hood of California or whatever, but y'all can tell me like what y'all like about that track in the comments below. Is it one of y'all favorites? Y'all just like that Master P just did a song for the main title of the album. Let me know your thoughts. What do y'all like about that song, 99 Ways to Die? Alright, moving on. Track 10. Rev Do Wrong Com. Here we go, guys. Well, track 10, Rev Do Wrong, Calm, that ain't too bad of a uh, skit, but y'all can tell me like, what do y'all like about it, even though it's got like a lot of Christian spoken words in it about Master P and everything, and that skit wasn't too bad though, I give it that, it got like a lot of gospel theme in it though, alright, moving on, track 11, Hose Games, featuring Sea Murder, King George and Silk. Here we go, y'all. Suckers with no games, ain't to see a young G stacking me 
real black niggas play hoes and hoes get fucked. If hoes play niggas, hoes are get fucked up. Fool kind of man, cause I put in work. I cock my job, hop, hop, drop, and wipe off that smirk. Now niggas wanna play gang. Bitch, I'm quick to get up, I'm fuck rap and bang. Still that G silk riding on things. Roll up, I'm supposed to park my shit, then hang. Nigga, I'm always crap, hope I never skinny different, but them hoes are twist over for the niggas I hollow tip. Hate to see me got the grip, hate to see me get rich, hate to see me pull a hoe, hate to see me pull this bitch. Play a hate to keep the kingdom games the hard game. If I put a quarter in this club, when you ask me, you gon' get play. A G T I mean a G to a hoe. We need to come a new up in a nine cook. And get some old game and throw away that hoe shit and lead them hoe games to a hoe bitch. Play a hate hate to see a player make it real man. Ask me, that ain't nothing but some old games, hoe games, hoe games, suckers with no game. Hate to see a young G. Niggas don't shit behind my back like hoes Smile in my face up, run my clothes Now it's time to stop ya, yeah, yeah, with the cappers 911, only hoes got to prepare for the mouth Then you get smashed out, I won't let it rip till it's wired in your mouth You know who you are, I won't say no things in vain Say cheese with the hoe gang Hoe gangs, hoe gangs, suckers with no gangs Hate to see a young G, it's that meal man Play a haters, hate to see a player make it meal man track and I think it's one of the dopest tracks that he did on record with his brothers and the rapper King George and y'all can let me like what y'all like about track 11 whole games is that one of y'all favorite joints so y'all feel like the flow how they all were rapping on that song but y'all just like the uh dirty rap with gangsta rap come together all right moving on track 12 bonus track one Nine zero zero one nine zero zero master P. Here we go, y'all. That's how we take back Greek sea and Cali. Who be getting the shirt from? And at the side, show cars got it going on. When the daddy's back, what the F I crank? So many workers in the pumps, I'm like an army tank. I'm from that work for 23rd Street. Thank you. 
track 12 one nine zero zero master p that's a dope track i really feel all that gangster rap west coast hip-hop underground rap and g funk that's not too bad of a song to listen to and i actually feel it and p did went hard on that song and y'all can tell me like what y'all like about track 12 one nine zero master p Is that one of the dopest songs that you ever heard on this album? Let me know your thoughts on what y'all like about track 12. Well, track 13 is more like the same song from track 6, When They Gone. But this is the radio edition though, so I'm just going to play half of it for you guys and see what's the difference. I don't see what's the difference. It's still the same as number six, though, but I guess that was supposed to be another bonus track, but it was the radio edition of the song, though, but I like I like that song that he dedicated to his brother, Kevin Miller, and he, and, um, <clears throat> he dedicated Memories of the original gangster Easy e with that song as well because Easy e passed away around 1995 from A's when Master P did this record at that time and y'all can let me know like, what y'all like about that song When They Gone in the comments below well that's a rap everybody we just reviewed all 13 tracks on this 4th album by Master P called 99 Ways to Die this is a masterpiece and this album do got like a lot of West Coast hip hop, gangster rap, underground rap, and all the songs are dope. I don't have specific songs, but I pretty much buy with the whole entire album and I give it 100 stars. And Master P is another dope legend that I grew up on, and I've been a fan of his music ever since my brother had all his albums when we were kids. And the first time I heard Master P was through his album that he released in 1997 called Ghetto Dope. And this album debuted at 41 on the U.S. Billboard Top R&B Slash Hip Hop Albums Chart. And it debuted at number, I mean at 38 on the U.S. Billboard Top Heat Seekers Chart. But y'all can tell me like what y'all like about this dope class about Masterpiece. Is it uh, one of the illest rap, is it one of the illest records that came out when it was the year 1995 when he was living in the Bay Area of California or not because this album ain't too bad though I actually like it and I'm glad I got this album to add to the rest of my Master P records that I have and that's all I can say about the album but y'all can tell me like is it still a, a banging joint to listen to till this day let me know your thoughts and Tell me what's your favorite track off of this album by Master P. Well, this is your boy Jay Bird, a.k.a. Mr. Cool Guy. That was our album review by Master P, reviewing one of his classics from 1995, which is his fourth album called 90, 99 Ways to Die. Y'all can tell me like, what y'all rate this album, one of the dopest hip-hop albums of 1995, and one of the worst, so y'all just like that. It's a classic by... P that came out at that time. Don't forget to like my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and tell me like what do y'all think of that album by Master P and keep 
hitting that notification for more new videos that are coming y'all way. And I appreciate y'all showing me love. My YouTube channel, you all the best. And I'll see y'all next time my next upcoming video. So, peace out. Y'all be cool. And I'll catch y'all next time. Deuces, y'all.